Right, welcome back to Debrek as we um, approach the final uh, time for today's show yes. that is on Debrek. We take you to the left pictures at Parliament as the members of the public continue to stream into Parliament for the public viewing as the former president, uh, Daniel Rutish Moi's body lies mm -hmm. instead in there. Remember that anytime soon, um, Sam, we should be expecting 10 dignitaries in the country, approximately 10 dignitaries from across mm -hmm. the world to come and also pay their tributes to the late president. Right, now we want to link up with uh, Stephen Little, who has been at Parliament since uh, Saturday, I believe. And uh, good morning, Stephen. We see the people continuing to troop in there. We were told yesterday that 50,000 people were able to view the body. On Saturday, we were told about 20,000. How are the numbers looking so far, even as we approach the end of this lying in state? Well, uh, Sam, uh, so far we are close to 100,000 uh, members of the public who have come to the parliament buildings. As at yesterday, we saw that um, we had about 50,000 plus people turning up yesterday. And during the first day on Saturday, we had 24,848 members of the public turning up to view the body of the late Daniel Tarotich Arab Moy, that giving you an indication that as uh, by the close of today which uh, is or marks the last day of public viewing we could be having numbers hitting a hundred thousand plus but we continue to see because uh, the program began a uh, much earlier today because by 6 45 the body of the late Daniel Tarotich Arap Moy was already in Parliament buildings and by 7 a.m. the members of the public the gates were already open for them to come to Parliament but the bigger issue today here in parliament is a bicameral sitting of both the national assembly and the senate to eulogize the former president who actually spent his entire political career in the national assembly representing the member member uh, or uh, representing the people of baringo uh, central and i have a uh, few members of parliament just to share me uh, with me the thought the member of parliament former tunglu uh, stephen mule what do we expect this afternoon, of course, with regard to the eulogy of um, Ze Moy? I think this afternoon we are going to uh, send our condolences on behalf of our people we have elected and uh, give a message of hope to the family of uh, retired President Moy and uh, to the people of Kenya. I want to say uh, first and foremost on behalf of the people of Matungulu and the people of Ukambani, uh, we send our condolence, condolences to uh, uh, the family and uh, uh, the people of Baringo for losing one of the statesmen we have had. I want to say that uh, Moy was very fond of Ukambani region because at one point at, as a member, as a president, he had five members of the Kamba Nation as uh, cabinet secretaries within his uh, uh, cabinet. We also saw him come to Kambani. It's the only place he spent a day in a, 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 a home of Honorable Nyanze. And uh, when we were growing up, we could feel the power of Moi as uh, the leader of the country. So I want to say that we have lost a statesman. We have lost somebody who has dedicated total all his life on the up and giving Kenyans uh, peace and tranquility. You can see we are building bridges to unite Kenyans. My philosophy was love, unity, and uh, uh, peace. So I think we have a lot to learn from Moy and his leadership uh, for us who are young. I believe what he did and uh, putting up uh, uh, the infrastructure for education in this country can never be forgotten. The infrastructure of prayer houses. I saw him when I was a young boy at Sengani Hair, I see. I saw him when I was a young boy at Kakuyune, I see, coming to fundraise to have house of prayer. Moi was too prayerful. And I think it is the high time uh, as countries, we, as a country, we go back and look at Moi's legacy, how Moi uh, united Kenyans, and we stick to those. For me, uh, Moi might be gone, but his memories will remain forever and ever in this country. And I think the best thing Moi ever did to this country is to make sure that we have peace. When the other countries of Africa uh, nation were having issues with uh, uh, manners of uh, government being overthrown, Moi stood firm and made sure that Kenya had stability and uh, had, had power. The last thing I would say for Moi, as I can la uh, I, I learned from him, he was a very firm leader. And quite a number of people uh, mistook him being firm and uh, uh, tried to think that he's a dictator. Moi was firm and very humble. 
those are two characters for Moi which can never be wished away. I want to say pole sana to the family of Moi and the people of Baringo and may God rest his soul in eternal peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, some uh, uh, very very quickly and the last one the member of parliament for Gatanga what is the significance of this sitting that the both houses are going to hold this afternoon in respect of the fallen uh, former head of state we are here as members of parliament to eulogize Moy who was a Kenyan leader and somebody we respected a lot I remember when we were young President Moy steered this country very well uh, especially in terms of education he really expanded education and he has a lot he had a lot of faith in the young people of this nation. Yes. I remember he used to invite us to his house where I would share many of us would go to his house, we have rice, we have chicken, and we share and would go back having learned from him great ideas. And I remember he even expanded the university. When we joined the university we, we joined as a dub, double intake. Many of us, almost eight thousand students. And at that time Moi did a lot of expansion of education in this country. And that is why you find that in Kenya today, the greatest foreign exchange honor for this country is no longer coffee or tea. It's people working out there in the diaspora. That one we can credit to Moi through the expansion of education in this country. And that is why you find Kenyans all over the world through the efforts of Moi. The other thing I can remember Moi for is the decision making. If you look at some of the facilities we have in this country, like the stadiums, Moi was very keen on sports. That is why he built Kasaran, despite a lot of opposition from Kenyans and people like uh, Hira Ringwen. I remember reading an article, why are you building a second stadium? Why do you need stadiums? But today we need even more of those facilities. And this one can uh, be attributed to Moi, the decisions he used to make to move this country forward. Uh, and I really want to thank him, and that is why I'm here today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's the Member of Parliament for Gatanga uh, making uh, his way to the chambers to prepare for the 2 o'clock sitting that will kick off at 2.30 p.m. to eulogize the tri or tribute to pre uh, the former President Daniel Torotich Arpmoy. On my right hand, the family from Sacho has already arrived in Parliament buildings, and at 2.30 o'clock also we expect former Prime Minister Raila Odinga to be be here in Parliament. He's been away in, in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, but he has confirmed that at two o'clock he will be coming right here to eulogize and to view the body of the late former President Daniel Torotich. And of course, we continue to bring you live coverage. We are having a lot of lined, uh, a lot of uh, issues, and of course, people lined up uh, to give their tributes, including our very own Mwala, who is already here. He's just come to ensure that he also pays his last tribute to Moy. I'll hand it back to you, of course, for a very short time, Mwala, to 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 end commercial break. Dogo. To end commercial, I'm not to buy any. To end commercial break. Dogo. All right. Yeah, that's a. Let's go. Now you are going to commercial break. Commercial break. To end commercial break. Commercial break. To end commercial break. To na kuya and don't come here. Mutukumla is alikuwa na ni kuangu. Very well. There you have it from Mwala. We are going, of course, to have a catch up again with you during our Semana Citizen uh, segment. See you then. <laughs> okay, very interesting. Inspector Mola is uh, mounting a guard of honor for Stephen Leto. You know, that's uh, what it means to kick your Leto just inspect that guard of honor. <laughs> 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 and a few minutes ago, you saw something very interesting uh, as uh, the KDF officers were switching they are, uh, sw switching shifts. Yes. Or uh, as they were switching shifts, um, you see them. Of course, the first is the salute, then uh, the one who is uh, leaving is able to open um, what do you call them, the, the rails. Yeah. Uh, they walk out, then this other one opens his rail, he steps in, then they move the sword in systematically. Mm. I mean, the military tradition mm. in this event is just so something, precise. Uh, something to really watch, and it's pretty interesting. At, at the first time, many of us are seeing are witnessing um, a state funeral. Yeah. In the, the making of a state funeral, but of course, in 1978, when uh, President uh, Jomo Kenyatta died, all these ceremonies may have been there, but they were not seen uh, live on TV. So it's a uh, time to leave the show. It's 10 o'clock exactly. Uh, thank you so much, Kwa Kutazama. Um, okay, sorry, I thought I was no, in the field. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> thank you so much for watching the show. Uh, since six o'clock, uh, of course, the coverage of um, the final journey of President Moi continues. And uh, like you've seen, Stephen Leto is uh, on the ground. We also have our reporters in different places, including Nyayo as well, mm. where tomorrow's uh, memorial service will be happening. Tomorrow is a public holiday. But as some say, thank you so much for the past four hours and being part of the show that we heard earlier on today with the Honorable Salem Davani, Honorable Kipruto, Arab Kiro, and Isaac Kruto as well. All who served within the cabinet, we saw your feedback. Asati sana. My name is Zinzi Kibiku. And I'm Sam Gitukubai for now. This continues.